when it comes to power, Hagoromo Otsutsuki seems to be the one who is out of everyone's league. He is regarded as a god and father of Ninshu. He is the user of a lot of mysterious and secret techniques. I want to talk about the mysterious marking that he has on his forehead, but before starting I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. I hope you all have a great day. Now let's start the video. Hagoromo Otsutsuki, known to Earth's population at large as the Sage of Six Paths, was a legendary godlike figure who was regarded as the ancestor of Shinobi for his act of founding Ninshu, which led to the creation of the ninja world. He was the son of Princess Kaguya, and alongside his fraternal twin brother, Hamura, was the first to be born with the same powerful chakra as their mother. Together, he and his brother defeated their mother, who had become the terrifying Ten Tails in battle, and sealed the powerful beast within himself, thus making Hagoromo the first Jinchuriki. Hagoromo is widely accepted as the most powerful figure in history. Hagoromo's might and exploits ultimately made him revered as a god. He obtained a great group of followers as many across the world strove to learn from his teachings. His power even transcended time itself, becoming able to continue observing the world and interact with people long after his death. Born as a son of Kaguya, Hagoromo was blessed with remarkably powerful and equally large reserves of chakra, evident from how far his dojutsu naturally advanced on its own, containing the yin-yang release. The first person born with chakra, he also became the first man on earth to understand the very nature of chakra itself. His reserves grew exponentially higher after becoming the first Jinchuriki in history with the Ten Tails' great power contained within him. His power was so great that centuries after his death, with his genes greatly diluted, his distant descendants, Kinkaku and Ginkaku, were able to obtain Jinchuriki-like powers by consuming the meat of Kurama instead of dying, as another Kumogakure shinobi did when attempting the same. Hagoromo was also known to have impressive raw might. One thing that always intrigued me about Hagoromo Otsutsuki is the marking on his forehead. We don't know if he always had it, but the very first time when we heard about Kaguya Otsutsuki was in Naruto chapter 646. In that chapter, we can see Kaguya, who is holding a newborn Hagoromo, who seemingly does not have a forehead marking. However, what we need to remember about that is that the scene is only an imagination of Madara's. There is no way he would know how Kaguya or Hagoromo would look like exactly, and it was only his interpretation, so it can't be a reliable source. Fortunately, we learned a lot about the Otsutsuki family in the Naruto anime, where they got their deserved episodes. You could say that we already know the truth behind it, since in the anime it was shown how Hagoromo awakened it. In the anime, when finding himself unable to stop his younger brother from attacking in his brainwashed state, Hagoromo was forced to fatally injure him, manifesting the Mangekyo Sharingan. But what we need to remember about this scene is that none of them are real. They are filler-only scenes that in most cases contradict Kanye and material. Thus, these episodes aren't a reliable source either. For example, in the anime, it is shown that Hamura went to the moon by himself, while in the Naruto data book, it is written that Hamura took the leadership of the clan and decreed that they would stand guard over the statue. Also, in the Kaguya filler, it was shown that she came to Earth alone, when we know that she arrived on this planet long ago with Ishiki Otsutsuki. The whole Indra and Ajura flashback is also a very big mess, especially when it comes to fighting. When we finally see their serious clash, they just used abilities of Sasuke's and Naruto's with the addition of Hashirama's Buddha statue. The anime changed the design of Indra's Mangekyo Sharingan completely. During his debut, Indra's Mangekyo was depicted with a swirl pattern, but later in the anime, Indra's Mangekyo Sharingan pattern was changed to be the same as Sasuke's, so due to all of that, I doubt that anime filler could be used as a reliable source. A lot of people think that this red mark on Hagoromo's forehead is actually some kind of seal that prevents him to be corrupted by power like his mother. To some extent, this makes sense since he knew how cruel Kaguya was and feared her power-hungry attitude. Maybe after becoming Jinchuriki, he decided to do that seal on himself to make sure that he would not end up like his mother. But I doubt that it is just a seal, since we know that in Naruto, seals and markings are mostly like tattoos on bodies. And in the colored scan below, we can clearly see that the eye casts
against a shadow, so it is not a tattoo or some kind of marking. On top of that, in Naruto Shinobi Collection Shippu Rambu, his red Rinnegan like marking in the center of his forehead was referred to as his third eye, Dai San no Me. So I think that all of this suggests that his forehead marking was indeed an eye and not some random seal or marking. But what powers and abilities does the eye grant him? We know that Naruto, and especially the Otsutsuki stuff, is heavily based on Asian mythology and religion. For example, Ajra and Indra are characters from Hindu mythology. The Rinnegan is based on the cycle of reincarnation or rebirth in several Indian religions, and so on. Hagoromo is not an exception either. I would say that he is based on Buddha, who was the founder of Buddhism and is revered by Buddhists as an awakened being whose teachings present and explain a path to freedom from ignorance, craving, rebirth, and suffering. The goal of Buddhism is to become enlightened and reach Nirvana. Nirvana is believed to be attainable only with the elimination of all greed, hatred, and ignorance within a person. When you think about it, Buddha's story is very similar to Hagoromo's. Just like him, Hagoromo created Ninshu, which is the religion and the peaceful precursor of modern ninjutsu. The teachings of Ninshu were meant to give people a better understanding of themselves, as well as others, and lead the world into an era of peace. This is not the only similarity between them. Just like Hagoromo, Buddha also possessed a third eye. The third eye refers to the gate that leads to the inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. In spirituality, the third eye often symbolizes a state of enlightenment. The third eye is often associated with religious visions, clairvoyance, and the ability to observe chakras and auras, precognition, and out-of-body experiences. And when you think about it, Hagoromo is the only character who is able to transcend time and space and defy even death. In his data book entry, it it is written that he attentively watches over the people, with transmigrated souls walking through an eternity of samsara an endless cycle of death and rebirth. He is also able to use the creation of all things technique, which was a technique possessed by Hagoromo Otsutsuki that allowed him to turn fantasy into reality. He was the user of techniques which defied every logic, even for Naruto's fantasy world, and it was never explained why Hagoromo was this special, especially since Madara and Kaguya also got their abilities in a similar way to him, but he still seemed multiple times above them, and I think the reason for that could be his third Eye, which was not Rene Sharingan, but a true marking of perfect Six Path Sage Mode, which he unlocked after mastering and understanding his Six Path Chakra completely. It is not just a coincidence when he used his forehead as a symbol of the Ninshu religion, it symbolizes his realization of purpose of chakra and living, which made him even stronger than before. He seemed to be the only one who managed to do that, which resulted in him being the strongest character in the series. For a really long time, Naruto Uzumaki held the title of the strongest ninja in history, which was not surprising since he possessed monstrous strength. However, things changed after his final battle with Ishiki. He lost Kurama, the nine-tailed fox, which resulted in him being much weaker than before. However, him losing his tailed beast does not mean that he no longer possesses Six Paths Chakra. He is still a user of it, and I think he needs to use it now more than ever. In the past, he relied mostly on Kurama Chakra instead of Six Paths Chakra. But now, things have changed since Six Paths along with Sage Mode seems to be the only power he possesses. So I think he will try to train his Six Paths sage mode at max level, and in the end will try to enlighten himself like Hagoromo Otsutsuki. Of course, he won't be as strong as him since besides Six Paths Chakra, Hagoromo also possessed the Chakra of Kaguya and was the Jinchiriki of the Ten Tails. However, after training his Six Paths sage mode to the highest level, Naruto may be able to awaken the third eye on his forehead, which will grant him abilities of transcendence into dimensions, and I assume it will also greatly augment his chakra levels and strength. I also think that his his third eye will help him to use creation of all things more efficiently and on a higher level than he did during the war, when he saved Might Guy from dying and restoring Kakashi's eye. Anyway, I guess this is all for today. What do you think about Hagoromo's third eye? What abilities did it grant? Will Naruto awaken it as well? Let me know in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to the channel for more. Astrojack out. Bye.